All right, here we go. So we have Bitcoin here, and what the fuck? We are still in a sideways range. Being held up by the 100 right now. I mean, we've just been just sitting in this range for since basically yesterday, early yesterday. Um, but the thing is, is that I think we're almost out because your BBWP is curling around right here. Now, if it crosses its moving average, the sideways range is over. <clears throat> so that's going to happen when either we break up, when either we break up or break down. Now, if we break up, I would expect some sort of rejection at about 17,100, 17,150, and then a back test of the top of the range, and then a resumption forward. Unless we just get a wick up here, and then crack back down, get back into the range, then I would expect us to break the bottom of it. Right now your MACD is basically resetting. Negative momentum is a little stronger than positive momentum right now. You do have a pretty fresh cross to the downside of your signal line. Negative momentum is picking up on the histogram. By the way, your RSI and your MACD are both momentum oscillators. Your BBWP down here measures volatility. RSI, testing that top of the bearish control zone below your signal line, below your neutral median line. So the thing is, is our, if we do enter that bearish control zone after we break this, I would expect a small bounce at 16,250, another bounce at 15,850, and then another bounce about 15,550. All right, and after that, I would expect uh, 14,500 to come in through the cards, maybe even 14, low 14s. <clears throat> now, here on your four hour, you have crossed your moving average to the downside. Obviously, the volatility has uh, subsided. Um, so, but you are curling back around. So, if your one hour BBWP crosses its moving average, I would expect the move to continue. Once again, testing that top of the bearish control zone, but we do have support under us right now. We have this signal line right now. If we do cross this, enter back into the bearish control zone, that is not going to look good. MACD, pretty strong upside curvature, but starting to curl over. If we get rejected from the zero line, that's going to play into the bearish case. Momentum, positive momentum on the histogram is pretty stable right now. Let's <clears throat> check the eight hour. Bearish control zone, but your MACD has strong upside curvature. Positive momentum is increasing on the histogram. Um, RSI in the bearish control zone above your signal line, though. Are we going to get a retest and resumption up, or are we going to crack back down? So basically, your top of your range comes in at 17. Hold on. Let me see here. Yeah, about 17K. 17K to... Let's say 16,650. <clears throat> so pretty tight range right now. Like I said, as soon as you cross this moving average and your moving average gets a positive slope, I would expect this range to be over. And that's going to happen when either we break to the downside or to the upside. All right, so bullish case. If we can break this 20, uh, 200, I would expect the next stop to be... 17,500. If we can break that, 18K is in the cards. I don't think we get it back above 18K. I think that's the best case scenario. Um, we already went over the bullish case, so that's about it for Bitcoin. If you guys like this video so far, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below. One being the Discord. A lot of good conversation about crypto trading, investing, trading there. Um, <clears throat> it is the place to be. We talk about these moves uh, before they happen and we figure out this market collectively. So yeah, definitely check out the Discord. Let's move on to Ethereum. <coughs> so Ethereum still respecting our red box. Like I said, still sideways in a range. You did just enter the uh, bearish control zone of the RSI. MACD crossing that zero line. Okay, so Ethereum looks like it could break over. BBWP has crossed its moving average. Moving average is starting to get a positive slope. Ethereum looks like it's going to break down. 1220 is the level to uh, stay above. So basically right where we're at. If we drop below, I would expect a bounce at about 1180. Then a retest of the bottom of the range. And then a move down to about 1100. 
<coughs> excuse me. After that, a thousand dollars. All right, it's pretty pretty clear cut. If you break the two hundred, at about basically at the top of your range. If you can break that two hundred at the top of your range, I would expect you to get up to thirteen twenty five. If you can break that, next stop is fourteen. Let's say fourteen uh, fifty. Fourteen hundred and fifty dollars. So, yeah, I mean that's basically it for Ethereum. Short update today. Still going sideways in this range, but we're gonna stay ahead of the move, uh, and we will be here as soon as we break out of it, which could be today. Could be today at the latest tomorrow. I think we break out of this range. I think the market starts to pick back up. Let's move on to Solana. Solana, on the other hand, looks like it is about to roll over. Um, hold on, fucked up. Solana looks like it's about to roll over, sitting on the POC point of control on the VPVR here to your right, which measures horizontal volume at a certain price level. Resting at the top of that bearish control zone, just crossed below your, below your signal line. Resting on top of that zero line, your, your uh, indicator is basically reset. Now your BBWP is curling around from a very low read, so as soon as it gets above 10 percentile, and your moving average gets a positive slope after your uh, moving average gets crossed to the upside by the BBWP line. I would expect us to break the top of this range as well. If we break it out to the top, 1650 is in the cards. If we can break 1650, I think we go all the way up to $25. After some ebbs and flows, of course, you know, one being at 1841. I do not think that happens. That is like some hopium bullshit. All right. Best case scenario for me is $18, $18, yeah, $18 for me. Uh, best case scenario, if we break the bottom of this range, I would expect a small bounce at $12.50, possibly back up to $13.50, and then break down $10. Here we come. That is where I think we go after Bitcoin breaks down. Not to say that Bitcoin's going to break down right now. Bitcoin might not break down right now. We might get another pop, possibly up to 18K, like I was saying. If that happens, it's going to carry the rest of the market up with it. Ethereum would probably go up to the top of its red box. Solana would probably go up to at least the 200 possibly even that $18 mark. All right, and then we'll come back to it. Solana is about to pop off, though. BBWP is about to cross that moving average from very low read, like I was saying. So, like I said, short update today. Uh, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. It is very hard to build a channel in the bear market. I know everybody's uh, sick of crypto, everybody's portfolio's fucked, all that shit. But uh, definitely show some support. Because in the bull market, you're going to want to watch these videos to figure out this market. Um, so I wish everyone well, and I will see you tomorrow.